subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Running a Python file directly in a web browser is not a common practice due to security concerns and the fundamental differences between server-side and client-side languages. However, you can use various tools and platforms to run Python code in a browser-like environment. One popular choice is Jupyter Notebooks, which allow you to create and share documents containing live code, equations, visualizations, and narrative text. Here's a tutorial on how to run a Python file in a web browser using Jupyter Notebooks. If you don't have Jupyter Notebooks installed, you can install it using the following command. After installation, open a terminal and navigate to the directory where your Python file is located. Then, run the following command. This will start the Jupyter Notebook server and open a new tab in your web browser. Once the Jupyter Notebook interface is open, click on the new button and select Python 3 under the Notebooks section. This will create a new notebook. In the notebook, you will see an empty cell where you can write Python code. Type or copy your Python code into the cell and press Shift plus Enter to run the code. You will see the output directly below the cell. You can save your notebook by clicking on the file menu and selecting Save and Checkpoint. To share your notebook, you can download it as a .ipin file or use platforms like Jupyter Notebooks on GitHub, Google Colab, or EndViewer. Make sure to install Jupyter Notebooks in a virtual environment if you're working in a specific project to avoid conflicts with other packages. Remember that Jupyter Notebooks are meant for interactive data science and analysis. If your goal is to create a web application, consider using frameworks like Flask or Django. This tutorial demonstrates a simple way to run Python code in a browser environment using Jupyter Notebooks. Keep in mind that this approach is suitable for interactive and exploratory coding rather than building full-fledged web applications. ChatGPT